I'm gonna do a teardown of this little unit here today. It's probably not gonna be a huge video, but uh, this is a cool little thing and uh, I'm sort of curious to see what's under the covers. So what this is, is actually a key, an electronic key. Um, and it is used in, well, realtors use it. Um, I've seen telecommunications use it. I've seen some construction companies use it. Basically, any place where the boss wants to maintain a log of who's gone where, when, and wants to be able to remotely disable somebody's access, um, but doesn't want them all wired together and live like, uh, you would with a prox card system or something. So this is actually the key that each person carries with them. And each person has their own password that they punch onto their key. So they can't use somebody else's key. Um, the keys are serial numbered. I've covered up the serial number on the back of this one because I don't want the former owner of it, uh, getting searched down or in trouble or whatever. Um, so this is actually one from the older sit from their older systems, maybe a company called Supra. Um, and the product calls track key, um, or track access, uh, or track access, depending on who you talk to. Um, anyway, this is the older version. So it's obsolete now. It doesn't work anymore. Anyway, uh, the newer version has a little display screen on it and has Bluetooth built into it. Um, so this thing, this key just clicks into the lock. Uh, which is a cradle that this sits in. You punch in your number, push the little key button, and it negotiates with the lock. There's a couple of contacts up here. And I think there's some kind of an inductive uh, coil inside to talk back and forth to the lock. But anyway, it handshakes with the lock and negotiates. And after a few seconds, opens the lock for you. And then records it on here. And then every week or so, whatever the boss is set up, um, this thing needs to be updated, uh, to get a new authorization for the next week and, and to more importantly to the boss, well, as important. Okay. There is hidden underneath there. There is a little screw. Um, more important to the boss, it uploads your activity and they can log it and track where you've been, correlate with door alarms, or make sure you've actually been doing your rounds. Um, in a realtor situation, they'll use that to see who's uh, got the keys from, from the house and uh, shown the house. Um, so what do we have here? We have a little piezo speaker in there. How does this come out? Does it just pop out? Hmm, pliers. There we go. Okay. So, typical little keypad with the little resistive carbon buttons on the back that shorts across the track, the little tracks on the front of the board here to register key presses. Okay. Um, a little piezo speaker on the back. Now, this one, this version, to update it, you would actually dial up an 800 number, hold this part up to the microphone of your telephone. Yes, a landline phone. Yes, this is that old the technology. Um, and push a code in here, uh, the telephone code, um, a little telephone button, and it would squeak and squawk and modem away back and forth. Um, when it was done, you'd listen to the phone and punch in your new authorization code and it would work for the next, however long, well, oh, clear the memory and then work for the next X number of days or weeks, whatever the system set up as. So that's, that's how that works. Get that out of the way. And that, that little speaker there also chir makes standard push button chirpy noises and whatnot. So right, so far I can see that there's a conformal coating on this that's covering up all the chips and making this thing water, well, water resistant. I wouldn't call it exactly waterproof, 
that right there is was that a CR125 button cell? I don't think I can take that off without destroying things. I might do that in a while. So it's uh I mean what's going on inside here is nothing super magic. We have brain box. Um Standard little components, a uh, handful of little transistors. Looks like a 4 meg uh, res resonator. Focus! Yeah, a little 4 meg ceramic resonator. So we're going to be the clock for this chip. Um, that'll be holding the memory. Uh, it runs on three AAAs to actually do its magic. Um, and actually, there isn't an inductive coil in the back to talk to the lock. Huh. These two copper contacts at the top here are actually power. Um, and they, I should be able to prove that actually. Let's play some zoomy games here. My meter. Um, these batteries, if I remember correctly, Oh, they are in series. Okay. They look like they're in parallel, don't they? Oh, they are in series. Okay. That one goes to there. That one. Hmm. Curious. But I thought that... This was connected to power because one type of the lock that this thing opens um, doesn't have batteries in it. The the key lock box, which is just an armor plated box that you put the keys to the building in, and then your contractor, whoever shows up with this, or your realtor, or, or whatever, and clicks it in. So these provide power. And actually, now that I look closer to it, that transistor probably turns the power on to those when it's active so it doesn't short, short out in your pocket. Um, and if I remember, you always have to push the green button first, then punch in your code, and then push the key button or push the push that. So the green button always starts it up, which is that one right there. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Tested by Central. Oh, maybe that's just a validation company or something. All right. Well, there's not a huge amount to show in this thing, really. I just thought it'd be cool to take a look inside. Any salvage value to it? A little speaker might be useful. Um... I don't know. It's too bad that isn't real switches. You could use that for something, I suppose. Oh well. So there it is, just a quick tear down to see what's in there. And with all the conformal coating on there, there's not any point in even trying to salvage any of those parts, even if I had a reason to. Um, oh well. Always fun anyway. Always good to see what's inside stuff. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.